Hey, Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agent, philosopher, world traveler. Poor person, plaintiff in Conti vs. DSNY, there's the number. So today we're gonna we're getting to the nitty gritty, the end of the write ups, the boring write ups, right? So here's uh we're in the slave pit now and uh, you you show up to work and one day and um, you know, and you have the lovely Miss Fleetwood, let's put her picture up. She's the uh sergeant for the day and she's going to play the old you know the old pin the tail and conti game they're going to force them to do foot patrol now i found out that the order came from amasquita directly this was a school play by the sny to get conti uh to punish conti and put him on on foot why because conti's a smart one he he you know he he's he's got a you know he goes down to eo and he complains and he, he talks about the quota you're not supposed to do that in the slave pit because this is not america anymore this is this is an oligarchy and you're, you're supposed to do as you're told conti thinks he has rights and you know <laughs> this fucking guy throw him in this fucking slave pit throw him in the slave pit see how he likes that if he doesn't like it get his ass the fuck out of here right so that's the that's the strategy here so you know and uh you know when you're dealing with with organized criminals and and serial racists uh, you you have to trick them. You have to record them in their own words, right? So that that's what uh, that's what it's all about. So let's listen to let's listen to let's define what foot patrol actually is because that's what I'm that's what I'm getting charged with, right? They they took away my car and I said, Conti, you're out on foot. So let's listen to what Chuck Palumbo said about foot patrol. Ready? Here's Chuck. We were forced to write ten tickets a day, basically. I myself and other agents here, we were threatened. If we don't write 10 tickets a day, you're going to be on foot. A sergeant's going to take you out, put you on foot, and follow you in around in a car and make sure you get 10 tickets. Now, they even went a step further to say if a sergeant sees a ticket and tells you to write it, you have to write it or else that sergeant will write the ticket and write you up. You cannot force me to put my name on legal documentation if I don't agree with it. So yeah, Chuck Palumbo, uh, agent for six years, spells it out. This is how it worked in his zone. If you don't write the 10 tickets, you're, you're forced. They take away your car. It's punishment. They're going to follow you around. He also said that, that, uh, that, that they force you to uh, sign your name when you're not, uh, you know, uh, legal pressure you on the duress to sign your name. So he confirms that one too. But mostly, for me, again, I, I wrote the 10 tickets. That's why it's it's pun it's not punishment for not writing the 10 tickets. It's punishment for going down to EEO and exposing the fact that they're forcing people to write 10 tickets. And the overt racism that comes down from, from, the, from the, the racists there. So that's, uh, that's, that's one. Right? We have to catch them in their own words, right? Because they, they, otherwise they just lie, 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 lie. So... Let's listen to one more. This is um, this is an agent, um, in her own words, confronting Burke. Burke is the, the 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 ringleader, right? He's it's Burke, then it's Pascal, right? And then it's it's Klinger, Burke, Pascal, and Mosquita, right? That's the triangle. Burke, really, those are the ones you have to focus on. Burke, on top, and then he's screaming at the he's the he's the the, the organized criminal. And he's screaming down the down the ranks at the serial racist Pascal, who's screaming at Amasquita, who is basically the, the the you know the the functioning robot, you know punchy that'll do anything you know just as long as the as long as he could, the captain tells him to do it he'll jump and do it right Mr Army Boy right, so um, so let's listen to let's listen to this agent confront Burke. First you'll hear Burke and then we already heard this one. Right? So let's listen to let's listen to Burke dig his own grave. Ready? That's block facing. That's what sectoring is. Supervisors should not be using it in some sort of punitive way that if an agent didn't write a certain amount of summonses that they were put on foot. So that I think is the main point about what the agent may have about block facing and the way management looks at it as a tool to place people in a certain area. Well, that has been happening though. You know, there's certain zones that strictly do block face it for people who do have less than 10 summonses. And it's like a punishment. So they have vehicles out there that I know that had right not worked right there. Right. And they have vehicles parked in the yard, but they did not issue them to certain people who had 
consecutively days where they've written under 10 summons. Okay, we'll, we'll continue to look into that. So there you have Burke moving the goalposts. It's block facing, it's sectoring, you know, it's foot patrol. They take away your car, throw you outside, and walk. And then you hear the agent clearly tell him to his face and describe the way that that uh, foot patrol has been used, is being used in her zone as a form of punishment. His car's out in the out in the lot, and and what do they do? They just they don't they don't care because they, they don't care about that. It's punishment, right? So. But beyond that, right, if we now have the 206 book. So let's put the 206 book up. See, if you see the 206 book, there's, look at the line to, to, you know, you could see the line. It tells you exactly how many agents. It tells you how many cars, right, if the, if the, if the agent was a driver or if the agent was a passenger. So that on that day, the day that I'm going to show you where I'm put on foot patrol, you can, okay, if you want to, if you, if you're saying that there's no cars, right, are you saying there's no cars? Yes, you are saying there's no cars. That was part of the punishment on me. So it, you, you'd have to produce the 206 book. Go ahead. All right, you have it. There it is. Okay, so let's listen to the final one. This is, um, again, the, to preface it, the write up that we're going to see is me being placed on foot patrol, right? All right. Not sectoring, not, not not fucking block facing, right? Foot. Put you on foot. They put it in writing. They put me on foot in writing. All right, so here's the, here's the again, the gift is that we have the recording. We have them, first they lie because they don't know they're being recorded, and then you catch them lying, right? So here they, here's the, here's the actual, here, here's, so Fleetwood's out in the, in the roll call room, right? And they, they, they tell you, they, they say, Conti, you're on, he, she says, Conti, you're on foot, because Adam Mosquito told us to say that, right? So, so, so here's the, here's the discussion in the back room after I refuse to do, after I refuse to do foot patrol, right? But, but the, 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 the point was that I was put on foot, not because I had an injury or it, there was some nonsense about no cause. Okay, so there's no call. You're not guaranteed. No, there was call. Okay, you're not guaranteed a call when you come to work. So here you hear the girlfriend. This is Concepcion. This is, uh, again, it's it's a one-two punch. Concepcion is sucking up to Pascal. Pascal su sucks up to Burke. But C Concepcion sucks up to, to Amiskita and does whatever he wants. So she, you hear her lie. You hear her say uh, that, uh, that you're not guaranteed a car. This is moving the goalpost, right? She she claims that she's done foot patrol many times, right? And you hear the nervousness in my voice. Don't don't underestimate that because I'm like you hear, but I'm 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 I, I'm being punished. You know, it's not it's not light. It's a fucking slave pit, right? They're turning the they're turning the table on you, and and they're they're lying in stereo, right? For and this is this is all after. You know the the peppy screaming in my face, and and this this is these are the things that happened on a daily basis for Conti. This is the way to you try to get him to resign, try to get him out there. Just every fucking day, you're going to do something like this. So let's continue. We can continue to listen to this. I have been on foot plenty of times. That's your job. Maybe you have a car. Then why say it's because there's no foot patrol? Why 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 say it's because there's no cars? The what cars? The pet cars. Some of those cars were down, and they were still up here because of the tank. What about doubling down, up with people? When the vehicle dropped down by the mechanic, it cannot be used. What about doubling up with people? I wasn't here. I can't tell. So Amiskeet is straight out lying. He's saying some of those cars were down. It, it's total bullshit. Produce the 206 book. Put the 206 book on the table. Let's see how many cars there were. Now, again, you're because... Because they treat you like a total idiot, like you can't count that there's 10 agents in the room and eight people have cars and two people have doubled up and you have to go out on foot, right? That's not sectoring. That's not block facing. That's not, how could someone, how does someone go out and barely can get six or seven tickets with a car covering 40 miles, but they want to put you on foot where you can maybe cover a mile or two on foot and then you're going to get 10 tickets. It doesn't work like that. It's punishment, right? So the idea that Burke is saying we're going to sector you and we're going to 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 block face you to 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 target uh, dirty areas is total bullshit. And here you hear it because they're not calling it in the day before they move the goalpost. It's foot patrol, right? So here you hear 
Hear, hear the Yushai. Let's continue. But you're requiring okay. me to Everybody go to a doctor and get some sort of fake okay, letter. Majority. Is that uh, only foot patrol has been used for punishing people? Correct. No, it's not. No, it it's is. In true. my observation, everybody well, that is. Observation is wrong, sir. Well, it, it is my observation, and well, it's, used to, it's used to. It's used to. It's used to. It's used to to embarrass. No, it's not. It's it's used to humiliate, and no, it's, it's used not. to break someone down. No, it's not. That's that is my view, and that's that's how it's been used in my view. And, listen, and what you're doing, listen, what you're doing listen, is you're trying. Is, might be your view. You're trying to. Your you're trying to humiliate me. No, I'm not trying to humiliate you. Because because, I protested and filed a case. So what's most interesting about the last part of this uh, exchange is that Amiskita is, he's lying about foot patrol. He knows what it is and he knows why he's doing it. But because he's, you know, and again, we have his, we're going to see his write-up. We're going to see, we're going to see his, his ordering Fleetwood to, to do this. So that's why it's becoming obstruction of justice. Now, will, will, will Amiskita step up in, in, in a court and and lie in front of a jury? No, because he's a coward and he's going to perjure himself and get thrown in jail, right? So that that's the that's the thing about cases. We're trying to we're trying to force them in the court so that they can so that they can't lie with this this buffer this because they all lie in stereo. You'll you know he hands the paper off to to the EEO lady who prepares a false. Um, uh, position statement that says, "Oh, we never order people to write a certain number of tickets." Block, and it, and they 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 co-sign the lie. So this is very important testimony. So let's let's um. Let's uh, move on. So we heard in 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 Palumbo's own words, we heard from the mysterious uh, uh, agent who was in the room who confronts Burke that it's all. So we know for certain that that foot patrol is in fact a punitive measure. It's it's punishment. All right, so let's look at the write-up. Right, so here's here's the uh, DS two four nine. Pow! Holy smoke! Shit! Oh my God! Conti, fucking loser! Look at you, man! You got another write-up. How many you got now, Conti? Oh, I don't know. Eight, nine, ten. Who the hell knows? I stopped counting. So page one hundred four, right? This is one hundred four in the appendix. Look at it. Read the damn thing, man. There, it's in the appendix. All right, so. Here's the uh, here's the the thing that was issued on 8 uh, 31 2015. Let's continue on. So what is the crime committed? What did Conti do this time? Oh my God, Conti, what did he do? Let's look. Okay, he 3.1 rules and orders violated. Failure to obey a direct order from a supervisor. You failed to direct, direct order from a supervisor. All right. Well, what did, what exactly did Conti do? There he is. Okay. So, on August 27, 2015, at 9 o'clock in the morning, roll call agent was given a direct order. Agent Conti was given a direct order to patrol Manhattan District 10 and 11 on foot. <laughs> agent Conti refused this order. His statement was, "I'm not going to do it." No, actually, it was it was 94 degrees on that day. I looked it up. 94 degrees felt like 90. Uh, I'm sorry, it was 84. 84 degrees felt like 90. So, and I have I have a historic leg injury, right? right? But that's not the point. The point is that where does it say sectoring? Where does it say uh, block facing? No, it says foot patrol. Okay, this is before they moved the goalpost, so you caught them, right? They're using the they're using the term and terminology foot patrol, not sectoring, not block facing. So, so, so there's no no nothing about about oh it's we're gonna put you in in a in a certain area and a and a sergeant's gonna it's not an assignment, it's punishment. Why are you punishing me? What did I do? Why? Because I filed a complaint. This is retaliation. This is you know Conti's a smart one. Stick it in his back until he quits. That's the object here. So. And uh, you see, you see the woman sign it, right? This is again, this is Fleetwood, the stoner. She does tools. They're <coughs> tools. They don't. She's not thinking. See, the illusion that that DSNY wants you to believe is that all of these separate agents, uh, supervisors, they were all coming to the same conclusion about Conti's work. He's he's disobedient. He fails to follow orders. No. 
it's a chain of command. You hear the dialogue that Amiskita and Concepcion, they know exactly what they're doing, and they're telling this jerk off to do it. Right? That's what's going on. Right? Pull the 206 book up. See how many agents we have. We had 10 agents, 8 cars, easily fixable, right? You'd have to be, they want you to, to, to they, they, they treat you like an idiot, like you can't count the fucking 10. You can't count the 10, you can't see that there's cars, you can't walk outside and count the, the cars physically, you can't, you deny that, that I'm not privy to the information, flip open the 206 book and look, right? This is retaliation. Right? So so there's the there's the write up. What else do you want to look at? Right. Right. So again, and and uh, let's just put this final one up. This there's always there's a statement of claim. Every time they hand you one of these falsified papers, they give you the statement of rights, and you can read it for yourself. Where is it? It's on page. It's in the it's in the appendix, and uh, where is it? I'm killing this right here. So it's a statement of, of your, your rights. You're, you're entitled to a, a, a fair hearing. I was never given a fair hearing in any of this. So, so, those are, so that's, um, that's foot patrol. And um, we're going we're gonna to do one more. So all of these, see, write-ups in themselves are not considered punitive measures unless they lead to something punitive, which in my case, they lead to termination, right? Right? It's all punitive because it leads to termination. The, the DSNY leaned on these write-ups to fire me, right? That's a, they, they used the write-ups to, to, to qualify their punitive measure of termination. Right? Well, let's not forget that. Peace out.